Hello and welcome to this video. I really need to get better introductions because I really don't know what to say. Um, but anyway, I did a 24 hour romance readathon kind of thing with uh, Kira from Kira Foster and Emily from Emily Rose. I'll leave their channels and videos their version of this video in the description box. We essentially read romance books for 24 hours. Um I forgot to film an introduction so this is this this is this. I'll leave all my um social media and stuff down below. Roll VT. <laughs> 24 hours starting seven o'clock tonight to seven o'clock tomorrow reading romance books i'm really gone dropping the wine already i'm really excited i'm feeling good had a good day apart from the fact we had a few little situations uh firstly i had to submit my essay and then had a panic that i didn't actually answer the question so i had to do a massive read through and basically calm myself down then i went to go and meet Kira for a walk, had a flat tyre, it was a whole situation, took about two hours to resolve. I've actually just been reading. I figured I'd do my introduction thing now, talking you through the books I'm going to read now, because by the time it hits seven, I don't know if I'll be done with my tea yet, um, and then I'd have to talk to you about the books and then it'll infringe on the 24 hours. I am reading, at the moment, Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. I'm about 40% through it, I think. Absolutely bloody loving it. I loved it from the get-go. I love this book. I don't think my feelings will change. I bloody love it. It's so, so good. We follow Francis and Bobby who are best friends. They're also exes, but they're best friends. And they meet this woman, Melissa, after they performed spoken word poetry. And then Melissa introduces them to her husband, Nick. And romance ensues, relationships kind of form. It's just really good. A few other books that I might get to, I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get to or which ones I specifically will get to first. Um, so I'll just talk you through, I think three of them now. So the first one is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. This is about two people who share the same flat. They literally share the same bed just at different times. Uh, the girl main character i can't remember her name because i'm useless at names um she sleeps in the flat at night and then goes to work during the day the bloke is a doctor i think i'm sure he's a doctor something to do with doctoring and he works nights so he sleeps in the flat during the day and it kind of goes from there. I feel like it is, I think it is romance. I'm sure it's romance. Everybody's told me it's good. Everybody's told me it's fantastic. I have to be the only person who has not read it. The next one we have uh, The Kiss Quotient. I have seen this spoken about by a few people. It's quite steamy. Essentially, our main character, I believe she's on the autism spectrum and she <sighs> wants to know how to get better at sex so she hires an escort the final one is one that i don't know if i should read or not but it's basically called loving lockdown these two people live one person lives above the other one and they're in lockdown they're both single they're both lonely i just feel like that one's going to be quite a fun one it could it could make me really um sad oh. <laughs> but it's fine um well i didn't know my voice could go that high so yes when the reading readathon 
kickstarts i will be probably finishing conversations with friends and then is it too ambitious for me to say i want to get to the other three books is it too ambitious anyway gonna go and read for half an hour have my tea then crack on with romance readathon cheers please excuse my purple mouth from the red wine but i'm on page 112 out of 310 so if i do finish this which i really hope i do um i would count this book in the readathon because i'm only as it says on my kindle 36 percent of the way through so yes i'm gonna continue on a new chapter starting chapter 14 i think i'm i'm honestly just i absolutely love this book and i've literally loved it from the very beginning i cannot wait to continue so i've just come upstairs to do a little update because my mum is watching television where i'm reading so i don't really want to disturb her but but oh my god conversations with friends is so good so good so fantastic so amazing i cannot deal with how amazing it is i just i don't want to say too much because i feel like i might give away spoilers but the certain relationships that are happening i'm not mad about but i am because there's a lot of complexity there's a lot of people who don't want to admit their feelings or they kind of are but then they're not saying much and i'm like please 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 say your feelings i'm quite concerned that this is going to go somewhere that i don't want it to go i've passed the 200 page mark i can't actually remember what page i'm on i don't think i looked but I'm definitely past 200. I think I'm over 60% of the way through. I think it's on my Kindle, but oh my God, I'm gonna make another cup of tea. Might get some mango poppadom chips, crisps from M&S, would highly, highly recommend. Um, and then I'm just gonna continue reading. Oh my fucking God, wow. I thought instead of me just sitting um, down and telling you what I thought about the book, um, I would make this interesting. Um, and by interesting, I mean me just not sitting down, um, doing something else, as it were. Um, so I'm going to put on a face mask and talk to you about my feelings about Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Hope that's okay. Um, if it isn't, I don't know what to say because I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, but first just going to take off the makeup. Um, you don't need to see that. It's very boring. Um, so I'll, I'll get back to you in just a few moments time. The mask I'm going to be using, uh, because I'm sure you want to know, it's Glossier Bougie Bougie uh, Moisturising Moon Mask Soothing Face Treatment. I haven't used this yet, so if I break out in a rash tomorrow, touch wood. Where's the wood? Which I don't. God, you really have to turn it, don't you? Oh yeah, fresh. I don't get this off. Where's the pulley thingy? There's not a pulley thingy. Oh, there we go. Oh, do I just whip it up? I don't really call that whipping. Oh, okay. Apply a thick layer to moist skin. My skin is not moist. It doesn't say how much. Oh, it did it and I just wasn't paying attention. 
Okay, so conversations with friends, Sally Rooney. As I have stated, I think, I have read normal people. Um, again, liked it. Awakened emotions in me that I didn't really appreciate, but I really did like it as a book. So the story I thought sounded interesting. I bought it on my Kindle and I forgot I bought it on my Kindle. I didn't think about it too much. And then um, I noticed more and more people um, talking about it. So you know what? Thought I'd give it a go. I thought the characters were so complex, even though you only got them from Francis' perspective, because the book is set from Francis's, Francis's, Francis, Francis's perspective. Um, at first, I was like, no, I don't like this character. They're a bitch, and I don't like this character. Um, it was very like single-minded. Like Francis felt this way about this person. She felt this way about that person, and that's how they were presented. However, it changed, like, I want to say just under 50% of the way through. Um, and then suddenly, these characters just awakened. And then you had so many thoughts, like, Bobby became so complex. And you could understand why she acts the way she does. And, because in the beginning, I thought Bobby was a bitch. But you get this image about her and I, d I really did feel for her two thirds of the way. I really, really felt for her. I feel like she's been quite, I don't want to spoil anything, but I feel like I would say she has been like manipulated to a certain extent. Although some stuff is never really like explicitly cleared up, I think. But I think that is also the beauty of it because whilst when i finished the book it wasn't rounded the way i wanted it to be swiftly afterwards i was like wait a second then i don't think i would have enjoyed the book as much because i did enjoy how the book was kind of like unclear like you had these characters who would never say what they actually meant to each other and it was so frustrating but it was so in character because it happened you know francis was so self-destructive in a way that was relatable i'm not saying to me personally but characters who, who are self-destructive or people rather who are self-destructive don't just suddenly have an epiphany and they stop being self-destructive it takes time you know i just really appreciated it still a bit iffy on melissa not gonna lie but there's always one character i don't know if this is thick enough i look like casper the gay writing style by sally rooney absolutely fantastic she doesn't use apostrophes when people speak however i really enjoy that didn't think i would really enjoy that um i own mr salary by her which is like a short story it's only 33 pages i think when waterstones opens up i will be buying the physical copy just because I loved it so much. I've just finished it and I immediately want to reread it again. So that's a sign of a cracking book. Now that I've spent about 10 minutes talking about conversations with friends, we're going to move on to the next book now. Um, I think I might read The Kiss Quotient. I, honestly, side note, I haven't read much this year so far. I've read one book. 2020, for me, was a year of reading one amazing book and then one shit book and then one amazing book and then two shit books and then one amazing book. You get the gist. It went like that. So for 2021, to have started with Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, which is up here, to then go to Conversations with Friends, which is also up here, it's put me in such a good mood. Absolutely. This just reminds me, not to get emotional here, it reminds me why I love reading so much. You know, the way that people craft stories. Why am I discussing this on a Friday night to a camera in my bathroom, wearing a moon mask, looking like Casper the Ghost? Um, I'm going to now go and read. I think I'm going to read the kiss question. Good morning. It is now 10.40. Let me update you where I actually am on the kiss question. I hope I'm saying that right. 
Croyton? No, it's not Croyton. So I am on page 248. I've got about I've got 60, 60 odd pages left. Um, enjoying it, but I think because I'm not an avid romance reader, I always, I don't know how to phrase this. I like there to be some extra, a judge, some other subplots. I, I think clearly here there is obviously, I don't know, would I describe it as a subplot? That these two characters, especially Michael, is more complex than you initially think. He's not just an escort. He also is a really good tailor, you know? And he obviously has a difficult relationship with his dad. And so there's that dynamic. But I don't know. There's something that's stopping me from really, really loving this book. Um, I don't know what it is. When I know what it is, then I'll let you know. But for now, I'm just going to continue. I'm probably just going to sit here until I've actually finished the book. Still the morning, eight minutes left. Um, I have just finished the kiss question. Um, I definitely got more of that complexity towards the end. Um, I did like it, don't get me wrong. I think though, I can't, first things first, I can't speak for the autism representation because I am not autistic, I'm not on the spectrum. Um, the author's note does talk about high functioning autism, um, which I don't really see a lot in books, I don't think, so I thought that was quite um, interesting. My only stipulation with this, if you wanted a light-hearted romance book that had a bit of steam um, in it, then I would go for this one. My only stipulation, I don't know if that's the right word, my only concern with this book is, oh well, my only apprehension, my only issue is that it started off as a very just solidly steamy book. As we progressed over two thirds, um, the steam just kind of stopped and then you just had the characters like, um, obviously, you know, I can't spoil anything, but it just focused on their internal, you know, issues. Um, I feel like there were points where there could have been steam um, and there was not. So I just feel like it kind of separated into like two different books, one rated 18 and then one rated a 12 if you, does that make sense i'm actually uh before i read another book i'm gonna go to the shops now to get some stuff i play oh, i'm praying they have the ingredients if they don't have the ingredients i'm gonna be very upset hello um so it's time for chadwick in the kitchen um, I love this little segment that I'm doing now. I think it's so much fun. Well, I'm having fun. Um, today we're not being Meryl Streep. <laughs> um, no, but we're, you know, I don't know. I don't know who this is, but I've just, I've decided to do it today. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I've seen the finished product of this and I'm assuming it's done this way. Um, if it's not, this is literally gonna be so wrong. I'm gonna make some pastry tarts. I've got some puff pastry um, shop bought because even Mary Berry says, why would you make your own pastry if you can just buy it? I'm gonna make a savory one. I'm gonna make my own pesto um, just by whizzing up in my little food processor. Basil, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, pine nuts, garlic cloves.
you may notice that I'm in the same outfit as I was when I was in the introduction. This is because not only did I realise I did not film an intro, I also um, kind, kind of, kind of lost footage. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know what I did. I, I essentially just read for the rest of the um, 24 hours. I think there's only a few hours left. Um, but overall, I had a great, great time. I'm not a romance reader, but I loved it. I had such a blast. And I think it actually really kick-started my reading. I've been reading every day since then, and I've just been loving it, enjoying it. It's been so, so good which is fabulous as you'll have seen i read conversations with friends i gave you my little review um the kiss quotient i think i spoke i've spoken about that and i did finish after the readathon finished that night i finished love and lockdown so it doesn't really count all of it doesn't count for the 24 hours but i did still finish it last night and i kind of just wanted to give you my thoughts and feelings so essentially i loved the beginning of the book it was kind of like a nostalgic look back on all the the bits of the first lockdown that you think were really like just the nice references like joe wicks was referenced not being able to buy toilet paper um one hour daily walk of exercise just zoom zoom oh my god even though I use Zoom now, but you know, when it when it was a nicer thing and it didn't really cause me so many issues now. But yeah, so it looked back on those, which I appreciated and I thought was really nice. However, towards the end, I just felt it bordered on like not even cheesy just a bit ridiculous and i am not a romance reader as i said so this could be where like i fall flat um essentially but i just didn't i was not a fan honestly um towards the end it it was just, if you like cheesy romances and don't need them to be realistic then yeah maybe i would read this one but towards the end it just kind of got a bit mm. and because it was so cheesy and just a bit like, eh, I didn't end up feeling sad. <laughs> so that was really good. Um, but yes, I still think about conversations with friends. It's been like three, four days now since the readathon and I still think about it and I just need the physical, physical book. Um, but yeah, they're my feelings. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm so sorry for getting rid of the last bit of footage, even though essentially it was just me. It was it was just me reading. I'll leave all my stuff down below. Um, you know, the social medias and all that stuff. Please subscribe. Have I already said that? I can't remember. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.